I, my goal, truthfully, for all of you to know, was to get to 1.5 million. That's where I was headed. If we could get to 1.5 million, I felt that we would have to dip into our meager fund equity because it will be a, a little over a million after the end of this year um, to get us through another year with the hope that something would happen in the state of Michigan to wake up the legislatures. Okay? Um, but now we, to get, I need almost um, over 400,000 more. So you guys are going to have to come up with some ideas because Shirley is fresh up. The only idea I have is to look at all class sizes of, if you don't have 35, the <coughs> class doesn't, you know. I think what we're trying to do is to avoid going into deficit spending in the next two years. Um, I don't think anyone in this district, certainly not myself, um, would want a financial manager to come in and, and run our district. <coughs> That's what we're trying to avoid. So, are the cuts painful? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. They're very painful. It's because we cut everything that we could cut, like by closing Remus, we saved support debt, moving the fifth grade, doing, you know, we've done the things that we could do where it didn't impact so close to home. We are truthfully to the point where it is going to impact our students. I don't know how anyone cannot realize the financial difficulty all the schools are in. I mean, you pick up any newspaper and you read about, you know, every board meeting that you can read about Mount Pleasant board meeting or any board meeting, they grab it, it's all the same, you know. It's a horrible job as a board member, but it's a horrible thing for students to have to make cuts like this. Um, across the state of Michigan, I said, it's like the night of a thousand cuts. It's not just us, it's everybody. I hate making these cuts. I really hate cutting the orchestra program, but I understand why we put it on our list. I understand that. And there is no good solution. But we have to do what we have to do to protect the basic program. For example, Shirley being a superintendent and a principal, um, Chris White being a principal and an athletic director, um, it's bare bones. We've done more of this kind of stuff that other schools are looking at this year. Um, so we're coming to the point of no return. We've talked about a lot of things for many years. We've put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off. It's got to the point, even with the cuts that we do make right now, if the Senate, which we're all hoping passes their, um, their, their budget right now, we still would, could possibly be short if that doesn't pass as well. And that would be cutting into our, our budget, what we have right now, even more. Um, we've always kind of talked about in the past trying to keep our fund balance at around $2 million and uh, we'll be below that at that point if something doesn't get done. And I don't think that's the place we want to go. Okay, I don't think we want to bring anybody in from the outside to uh, make decisions for our district. So we either have to be proactive as a district now or pay the consequences later.